everyone and welcome to another Train Simulator 2022 video. Uh, today we are taking our first look at the Salzburg to Rosenheim route by RSSLO. So today you're driving a local train from Tronstein to Frelassing. It will be a quick drive, have fun. This is about 15 minutes, so it's only a short first look, although I will be streaming this. So do keep an eye out for that and we'll be doing a full run of the line. This is, like, I suppose, a little taster of what there is to enjoy. Cool. And there you go. All the bits and bobs. So yeah, we're at Traunstein at the moment. And uh, it looks as if... Let's uh, look at the route map. Uh, which is... No, not that. It's that. So yeah, there's the route map there. So there's Rosenheim over here, which is in Germany. And I believe it's Austria, where you've got Salzburg, which is here. And actually, if you've played the uh, other route, which uh, RSSLO have done, we've actually done it on the channel. That goes off towards, um, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the place. Mulldorf, yes. Mulldorf, that goes off towards there. We've actually been on that line before, which is another great one by RSSLO. But yeah, this is the uh, route map here. So we're going to be stopping at Teisendorf and Flodarsing, which is over here. Anyway, let's get the train set up. Looks like we are in a DVBL 143. One of the old East German locomotives. That's forward. Won't do the brakes just yet. I'll keep it as it is. Uh, let's do that as well. Let's get that on. So this that we've got. I don't know what these coaches are. I don't know what these ones are. They're not IC coaches, are they? But we've got three of them at the back here. Cool. And now we wait. Right. Let's uh, let's get the brakes off. I think it would be that way, wouldn't it? There we go. And let's slowly whack that. We're going up to 70. I think, does the AFB work on this one? I don't know. Well, it's not the AFB. Is it? It's the Tractive Force Control or something like that. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get out of here. It is fairly quiet. That's just not... That's not... Um, yeah, it is fairly quiet in here. Let's go on the outside. There you go. As we leave Tysendorf, or Tessin, no, as we leave, no, we're leaving uh, Traunstein, yeah, Traunstein, how many kilometres to, 28 kilometres to Fleur Larsen, I don't know if PZB does work in here, so, hang on a second, what the, okay, I think that's just, yeah, because my field of view is quite far back, so that's probably why you can, you can see that, and of course we've got minus points. It would not be a British race video without getting minus points. <laughs> there you go. We've got 90 here as well. And I'll go through all the bits you get in this route in a second. And up to 90 now. Let's get that up. So I think it there. If I put it down, it does come down. So I think it has got sort of an AFB. So it would I'll pop that up. There we go. That's going up. So acceleration is pretty good in this. But anyway. Let's uh, get going. But yeah, this is uh, this is the about section of the route. So all aboard for Austria. Take charge of cross-board passenger and freight traffic with RSS LO Salzburg to Rosenheim route for uh, train simulator. Open in 1860, the Ros I'm keeping an eye as well as we go along, uh, was built following a proposal from as far back as oh, we want to have it in that, do we want to have it in that? As far back as 1828 to link the two cities together, the line would be an expansion of the Bavarian mainline network, which all accumulated at Munich, resulting in a great deal of connectivity between Germany and Austria. Popularity on the line grew quickly, and by the 1890s, the whole route had been upgraded to be fully dual track. In the same decade, it would also play host to the famed Orient Express. The line was used sp uh, sparingly for passenger traffic during the First World War, but was of great strategic importance. Electrification was planned and later implemented throughout the 20s. Following the formation of the Deutsche Reichsbahn, the Second World War saw many stations along the line destroyed, uh, and so much had to be reconstructed and following the conflict the line signalling systems was also rebuilt and many junctions were upgraded and today it plays a variety of passenger traffic from local services to cross board is it still raining? oh that has stopped raining uh, cross border operated by both DB and OBB including the railjet freight traffic also makes an appearance too 
and that is the little blurb on the route there. And also, um, let's take a look at what there is uh, included on the route. So you'll see a transition any second now to the menu about what you get and what scenarios are included. Let's do it. So what is included with the route? You get the DBBL 101, which you can see train EC112, that is the scenario, 60 minutes long. You also get the DBBR 143. Uh, for the quick local drive and time to start the day, which actually it says it's in that livery. Well, that seems to actually just be in the DB red one, unless there's two variants. Uh, there's also the DBBR 151 as well, which you can see you get two scenarios for that. So there's five scenarios in total. Um, let's check standard as well. Let's see if there's any on the standard. Seems to mostly be you don't get them on standard, but we'll quickly have a look to see if there is. And that seems like there so it's only five career scenarios you get on here obviously more is available in the workshop anyway back to the gameplay there you go there's that so we're back uh, and yeah still heading towards Tysondorf come on, I've got a 110 coming if I'm taking it a bit careful I mean, there is any PZB on this no but yeah what, what you would have seen from there the scenarios included were April evening morning freight train train EC112 Quick local ride and time to start the day. Um, and also see more will be available on the workshop once. Well, <laughs> this is the first day, so I doubt there'll be many on there at the moment. And these are the key features of the route. So 88 kilometers from Salzburg, Austria to Rosenheim, Germany. So that was that about 60 miles or so, so a pretty long route. A total of 13 detailed stations and drive a mix of intercity um, and local passenger trains as well as freight, five career scenarios, quick drive compatible and your download size would be just over one gigabytes which is quite a lot for I think for a TS route and yes I know I usually get lots of comments saying why have you got the new pod on I've put it to that alright <laughs> sometimes it's a bit easier having that one on when you're reading out stuff Long we go, though. Like. Cool. Yeah, it's still raining, hasn't it? Let's uh, get that off. We don't need that on anymore. As we make our way. But yeah, we'll be streaming this. Uh, if you're watching this on release day, uh, we'll be streaming this today. So do check the playlist. It probably will be the next one down. And we will be showing this off uh, live. So we'll do a whole run of the line, uh, which will be good. Yeah, good uh, selection of um, stock available in here. You've got the 143, I saw the 101, and there's that really old uh, German locomotive as well. can't remember the name of it, but we saw it at the beginning, and I'm sure I went through it when I was showing the um, scenarios. Right, we've got Tysendorf in 8 kilometres. We'll do that at 25, took about 4 minutes, and then for lasting at 34, which is 19 kilometres. Let's get that up a bit more. We've got one tank coming up actually. Fairly steep downhill gradient as well, so we want to be fairly careful. We don't want any accidents on the first run, as that would be just, yeah, British race written all over it. <laughs> Let's uh, bring that down. Mm, will that come down naturally? Mm, yeah, that is coming down naturally. Well, will we speed though? Probably. No, I think we might. Yeah, we might be alright with that. Yeah, we should be alright. You can see it is losing a little bit of power. So that's going to help us as well coming down this gradient. Not too bad. Cool. So yeah, fairly steep coming down here. You'll see the gradient down here. I can't see it. My TV does cut it out a little. Uh, but you should be able to see the gradient somewhere where the cursor is. Yeah, pretty steep this bit. Let's get a couple of screenshots which you might see as the thumbnail or anything like that. There we go. But yeah, scenery wise, I think it's been quite picturesque so far. We've got the mountains in the background there as we head towards Austria. Well, we might already be in Austria. Probably already are. <laughs> but um, yeah, good scenery. I'm getting um, main spec up barn vibes if, if you're a player of TSW, main spec up barn. Getting, you know, that sort of feeling with this one. But 
there. Oh, of course, for speed in. Yes, yeah, speed. Put that down. I don't, I, I don't want to end the route with minus points. So they're knowing me, we probably will. It's lovely, though, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, this one's done by RSSLO. We seem to do quite a few of the um, Austrian and sort of that sort of routes. Salzburg to Mulder, Salzburg to Rosenheim. Uh, I've done a few others as well. One inboard there for 100, so you would acknowledge that. So can't be too far to Tysendorf now. It is three kilometres, so yeah, we should come up on the distance graph fairly shortly. There's a class tractor. And should we get a flyby shot? We don't usually sort of get them, especially on this sort of you know journey. Don't want to have any accidents. Let's get a flyby shot though. It's worth it. There it goes. Cool, let's get back in. There, uh, 86 kilometers, got 110 coming up. We'll wet that up a little. And there is Tysendorf there. So from here, how far is it to? 14 kilometers to, uh, 14 kilometers to food arsing. Which we have actually been to before. Uh, on, yeah, Salzburg to Muldorf. I think actually the stream we did on there, we actually started then and went up uh, all the way up. I suppose with this route now, you could do some sort of connector stream. Um, you know, start at Rosenheim, go along to Salzburg and up to... Um, right, let's like up to Mulledorf. Right, this one is starting to get a bit rainy now. Where's the wipers on this? Is it this one? No, it's not that. It's I'm pretty sure the wipers are down here. Or are they? Anyway, we need to concentrate on coming into a stop. Otherwise, this is going to go very wrong. Uh, we'll get the big cut up quick. There we go. Bit of dynamic weather. Brakes aren't brilliant on here either, so you know you have got to be uh, fairly careful. Things can go downhill very quickly. There's the platform there. Yeah, lovely scenery there around it, isn't it? Bit more on there, and once we're gonna. Go straight through the station, which I don't really have intentions to do. It does feel weird driving the 143 at home. I'm so used to it on um, TSW. I mean, it's been done twice on TSW. Uh, once for Richfield Nord and twice for um, Reza Dresden. Well, again, for Reza Dresden. So it's weird seeing it um, on TS. Loud as well, right? Here we are. Let's uh, get a stop in this. Bit of an external stop. Well, I don't know where the stop marker is, but we should easily fit on the platform. And we are pretty much already on the platform, so I suppose it's sort of a stop where you want. Yeah, one of those stations. And now we'll do. Let's come to a stop. There's our passenger view. He's having a a good time looking out. And here we are, this is Tysendorf. Not bad. Right, let's uh, come out of here. Let's get a uh, shot of this. Yeah, that's brilliant. Cool. And we wait. Uh, free lasting next. Let's get the brakes off. And off we go. We just go full whack. Okay, no, that's not, no, no, bring it back, bring it back. It does not go full whack. It's not a fan. Well, we're still getting minus points. Come on. Nah, nah that's not fair. Good, good. Cool, we're all good. And off we go. On our way to Flu Lasting, which is in 11 kilometers. 
and that is in nine minutes as well, so that's not too bad. About the same distance as it was from um, Tornstein. Which, yeah, I apologise for pronunciations, I know they are completely wrong. Got 100 coming up. Yeah, loving the uh, scene. I guess these are the Alps, aren't they? You can see here. It's a fairly quick along here. Uh, I mean, 100, 110, and that's in kilometres an hour, but that's still 60, 70 miles an hour. Uh, well, that seems a bit dangerous. Look at that. That's really dangerous. Oh, God. And that's dangerous as well, speeding around a dangerous corner. Put that down. I can't remember what I was going to say now. I can't remember, yeah. Um, I think you got 160, which is 100 miles an hour. So it's not in any ways a slow route. Oh, here comes a 101. Well, the IC coaches, which we know from TSW. There it goes. And it's. No, wheel slip again. Oh, wait. It's a wheel slip in us. I'm losing more points. There we go, got some cows there. They are chilling in the field. Snow starting to come down, I can hear the cat starting to scratch against the door, the main cats. Let's whack that up. Yeah, if, you've, if you've been in the stream, you know what my cats like, scratches against the doors, or the door for like ages to come in. It's, you know, I, I can't, I'm streaming, you know. <laughs> so put that down. So look, losing points. Uh, let's get that up. Just lose more points, go on. Right up to 100 miles an hour now. In fact, let's get another flyby shot. Let's go ahead and let's watch the train going past. That's speed. Although, think about it, this train can't even get to 160. This gets up to, what, 120 and can't go any faster. There it goes. Bit of passenger view as well. Seems to be just that view you get. So yeah, pretty much at this speed most of the way. It seems to be downhill the whole way as well. Not bad that or not bad. Now, what does everyone think? Put your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of the route so far? Just a little sort of taster uh, for what you uh, what is available on the route. And all the AI you've seen is included as well, so well the train AI, so the one oh one you can you can drive that. Just a one oh one is a gorgeous train. One four three not so much, but you know. Still a nice train. Six kilometers to Freelancing. I think it has stopped as well, it stopped chucking it down, so let's do Oh it's there there it is, there, there's the wiper switch. Just there. No, can you get it? Don't know, but there it is there. Hang on, has it started again? <laughs> as soon as I get them off, it starts again. Typical. Or is it? No, it's not, is it? No, it's just about, I think. So, yeah, just about. Don't know. Well, we'll keep it on. And don't ask why the back ones are on, I don't know. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, we'll be streaming this route uh, on uh, on the day this video does come out. So keep an eye out for that. I'll we'll do a full run of the line in the DVBL 101, which can get up to 160. So brilliant. And you got 3.9 kilometres. Set at 100% uh, percent of the uh, throttle. That seems to be keeping us quite nicely at 116, so we'll keep that on. Was it Frelassing? Frelassing? I don't know. Has anyone been along this line before? How does it compare? Or well, if you've seen videos and real life cab rides, how does this compare?
Yeah, long we go. Yeah, pretty uh, chilled out route though. And lovely to you've got a tractor going through the little village there. Right, I probably want to start slowing down as it's not far now to uh, to the station. So let's pop that back to zero, which will slowly start bringing us down on its own. Uh, we've got a warning for a 90, so you would acknowledge that. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that is. Something's come up there. Let's start popping that down. 290. You want to enter the platform at around 50. I'll probably then she probably could get away with slightly quicker. Double yellow as well, so that means the next signal is going to be red. You would acknowledge that as well, which you can actually see it has come up. Yeah, there's the other train there. Sort of weird looking one. I shall get the name of it in a second. Yeah, I think yeah, you get three trains on here. The 101, 143 and that one over there. I think it's like one five something. I think. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Flying over, flying over, flying over, flying over. The one, yeah, one five one, which is an odd train, but looks cool. Looks old. Old trains are cool. Here we are. This is for lasting. Cool. So it doesn't really matter where we stop. I suppose it's probably up here, but it doesn't matter too much. Here we are. You got a, was that 101 there? Yeah, that was a little taste there from Tornstein to Freelancing. Do comment below what you think of the route. That would be awesome. And also, a little reminder, we actually do have a survey running uh, done by 4th Floor. You'll find that in uh, in the uh, description below as well. But yeah, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show that off. I was, yeah, that was quite a quite a pleasant journey, that was, you know, for sort of 15 minutes or so. Rather enjoyed it. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, train simulator video on the recently released RSSLO Salzburg to Rosenheim route. Link can also be found below to the store page if you do want to give it a go. Remember, this is Train Simulator, not Train Sim World. Uh, but apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store, and also to what I've just mentioned. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I'll hopefully we'll see you once. Let's just quickly see this. That was gr oh, that was great. Well, yeah, that was great. Thanks for coming in, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye.